Welcome to the Women in Leadership Body, Mindset, and Business Podcast, Mindset Monday. I'm Charlie. And I'm Heather. Oh, I love Mondays. I love Mondays too. It's just really nice to get together and set a tone for the whole week. Right. Talk about our topics that we get to grow and learn more about throughout the week. I think it's really important um, as a whole that you um, change your own mindset about what Monday means for you. Mm -hmm. If you're showing up in that negative energy on Monday, are you excited for your week? We want to help you get to a more excited spot. So um, our theme of the week is Asmita. Who did I say? I, I, I said think it. so. Asmita, a distorted sense of self. Okay, so this is when we start getting into the ego part of our um, self-care and managing that and learning tools to manage that. So that's really exciting. It's also really scary. It can, yeah, it definitely. can be. It can be very, very scary. So mm -hmm. remember to use those breathing techniques mm -hmm. that and we've give been talking grace. about and have grace for yourself. Remember, it's a journey. It's not a straight line. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you compare yourself to others, you may become vain or bitter, for there will always be greater and lesser persons than yourself. By Max Urban. E-H-R-M-A-N-N. -N. To me, what that quote means is we can always be better, but we can always be worse. If your life fell apart right now, what would happen? Right. Well, you know, I liked that. I liked somebody was complaining about something and then they were complaining about their shoes right and then they saw somebody who didn't have any legs mm -hmm. like so it could always be worse so if you're focused on that complaining mm -hmm. that's you know and then you know it can always look better or there's always going to be somebody that has more or less of things mm -hmm. always right always that and if we're comparing ourselves to other people I feel like that's where that distortion comes from, mm -hmm. right? Because we don't really know what someone's actual journey is, mm -hmm. how they got to where they're at, mm -hmm. what it took for them to get that. You know, I might think, well, that's a blingy necklace. Why would they wear that? Like, and it could be something they saved up for, for months and months and months, and it means a lot to them. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't know. So, right. Well, <laughs> and then um, I was going to say that um, when you are judging other people, why are you judging them? Are you jealous? Mm -hmm. Are you envious? Are you, you know, um, being like negative toward them because you're reflecting something within yourself? I really feel like judgment is a strong reflection about something either you can see or can't see about yourself. Right. So if I'm really annoyed with somebody who's being loud, it's because I think that I'm loud. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. So if I'm really annoyed by someone that leaves things around, well, is that because I'm leaving it around and I'm annoyed with myself? And so then mm -hmm. I get all judgy with someone else. Yeah. Like, yeah. You've really got to think about the, like, where is that seed coming from? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you might be able to track these seeds way way back to be like okay when did that become a thought process for me when did I first have that feeling that I was having mm -hmm. that led me to that yeah and why yeah because when we respond to somebody it's because of our own feelings and actions exactly so I wanted to talk about um, open-mindedness and what being open-minded is and why do we need to be open-minded. So first, let's talk about how we can be stuck or closed-minded. We each have a bubble around us of how things are for us. Basic cultural community mindset, like the basic set of like how your family operates and um, sense of there are many ways in to do things when we open our mind uh, that gives us benefits. And some of those um, benefits are building stronger and closer relationships with people outside of your tiny little circle. Um, 
It makes us uh, better listeners and more empathetic to others. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we have a larger capacity capacity for patience. We're less judgmental of others. Remember, we were just talking about being judgmental of others. So when we reflect that back on ourselves, you know, and figure out where it comes from. As a result, people are more comfortable to talk to us and makes us more attractive. You're more attractive when you're open-minded. You're less closed off. Mm -hmm. When you have an open mind, you handle stress so much better because less things bother you. Right. You're more flexible and you're a better problem solver. And guess what happens when less things bother you? Oh my God. You're less angry. <laughs> All leads to being happier and more positive person. Right. <laughs> Ultimately, um, open-mindedness compounds on itself, creating more and more new experiences um, that, that continues to open up. And I just really feel like this is a great topic to, 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 to talk about mm -hmm. as we're talking about that distorted, distorted sense of self. Yeah. And moving into spring to open, think of your mind opening like a flower. Mm. Okay. And all the goodness that can come from that. Right. Oh, that's beautiful. So the sutra topic this week, of course, is a smita distorted sense of self. What we should think about this week is who am I really? Am I limited by the facade of the external things such as my name, mm -hmm. occupation, reputation, preference, basically anything that is considered a label, right? Okay? Are you using your labels as a crutch or a catalyst? Right. It's up to you. Think about, I am no more or less important than anyone else. Okay. You are no more or less important than anyone else. And I will not be controlled or confined by an overinflated or underinflated sense of myself. This is the check your ego part. I like that because I think that we don't always know that there's the possibility that there's a balance mm -hmm. because we've been, you know, like, selfishness like mm -hmm. that's just selfish you know you wouldn't take time for self-care but there's a balance of self-care time because of what you actually need you know so the, I'm really excited that there's a balance in there there is us. there is and then and it goes both ways like if you know it's really easy to point out people who have an overinflated ego mm -hmm. ego it's really hard to pick up those who have an underinflated one right who need to be built up who and and you know present themselves as they are and not who they think the world portrays them to be because that's who putting self-limiting beliefs on yourself you need to be show up as you and that's I think that's that's our big journey right there mm -hmm. is showing up authentically as we are in the moment of who we are bruises mm -hmm. arms out you know this is who we are right <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> tattoos hair done sometimes not makeup on no makeup you know just be who you are and show up authentically authentically as yourself and in a positive light Okay, hey, how do we take steps to add these things to our lives? I love this. Um, so start by reviewing your values. You don't, you don't, you want to always stay true to yourself, right? So this isn't like a way of like opening your mind to change your core values. That's not what we're talking about here. So make sure you understand your core values because you can't be true to that unless you know it. So I authentically am a kind and loving person and I will run my response by that. Mm -hmm. Am I coming from a loving, kind spot? Mm -hmm. No matter how I feel, that's how I want to show up. Yes. So that, that's staying true to who I am. So when I have a large reaction that is the opposite of that, mm -hmm. I really red flagged that, like what happened? How was I triggered? You know, it starts the conversation for me. And when you, when you talk about values, 
you'll, you want to pinpoint what is important to you and your specific family dynamic. You do not have to adopt the values of your parents and grandparents because some of the mindset around those it can be very negative. It's okay to have new traditions mm -hmm. and have a new mindset Absolutely. around things. I want you to say that again because I think somebody really needs to hear that. Again. It is okay for you to create new traditions, for you to not carry on values from your parents that are negative and harmful to you and your children. If it's creating a negative reaction in you, Changes. we need to find a new way to express or do that situation, right? You, you deserve that. Mm -hmm. And the, we definitely um, here create a space that's safe to talk about those things in a safe and constructive manner so that we can pull the emotion out of it, find out where something came from, how can we move forward? And that's what we wanna provide is the how to do that. Um, and it's not an easy process. Mm -hmm. So take inventory. Um, what are you saying to yourself um, that's creating boundaries, even though you're trying to change? So an example of this is like, I want to get healthy. But every time someone suggests something healthy, I'm like, uh-uh, and shove a donut in my mouth, right? Like that's not helping my mindset around it. So mm -hmm. I need to be open. You need to be like, Ooh, wow, that sounds really different. Let me take a second. I'm going to be like, I don't know about getting in the ice bath that everyone's talking about right now, but I don't mind spending some time in the cold. So maybe I'll, you know. Maybe that's something you'll try once and see how you feel. Right. So, you know, I'm not ready to jump in a tub of ice water, but I don't mind being a little cold you know, like to create the, some of the same effects on a lower schedule. Oh, oh, this is like, um, okay. So <laughs> I just had a, a thought. You got really excited. <laughs> I did. So like in yoga, you always think like, I have to be this pretzel, right? Mm -hmm. So if your mindset is that you have to be a pretzel, you're not going to take a yoga class, right? Right. Right. Or, or <laughs> avoiding taking a yoga class because you don't think you're flexible enough. Oh gosh. You know what? I could not even touch my fingers behind my back when I started yoga. Mm -hmm. They were literally like that far apart. And that was like as close as I could get my arms. Mm -hmm. Like I was like a big girl and not flexible. So the intent was opening myself up to movement. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, wow, that was a really cool example. My brain just was, I got excited. So, yeah, yeah. Get the facts. When you feel yourself jumping to a conclusion, take a step back and question yourself. Where is this coming from? Just Wait, like we just talked about. It keeps right? coming up, right? Listen, practice activating active listening 70% of the time. So active listening is when you're actually listening to someone to like reiterate it back to them mm -hmm. instead of waiting for your turn to talk. Right. So, um, and this is something that I have the skill of because um, of everything that I've done in my life. I, I definitely have practiced active listening. And, and the, sometimes that means, okay, now that I've listened to you, I need a second so that I can get my thoughts around what you just said. And it's okay to say that. And yeah. like, wow, that was really a lot. Hold on. Let me take a minute. I was really, really process. listening to you. Let me process that for a second. Instead of processing while they're talking, mm -hmm. and th that's being really mindful of your conversation, really intentful. Like it's a lot of practice to get to that point. Embrace uncertainty. When you accept that there are many ways that things can turn out, that it doesn't have to fit into one exact way, you free yourself from burden of expecting something to work out perfectly. So let go of hard expectations. And when you start on a journey, think about it like going on like a huge hike, like the Pacific Crest Trail, mm -hmm. like a huge hike. You cannot see the end of the trail. Well, that's how life works too. You can't see where your choices and decisions are going to take you. You can only see a little bit of the road in front of you. A little bit at a time. So the more you can get comfortable with that change and the uncertainty of things, the more things can open up to you. 
Believe in your ability to cope and adapt to changing circumstances and move forward with confidence. Believe, decide in, that you believe in yourself. I like that. Say that again. Decide that you believe in yourself. Make the decision. Seek others' perspectives. Talk to people around you and ask them all the same questions. See what answers you get you curious. Okay? Like, what makes you want to know more? I liked doing this as a single parent. I would ask um, I had a couple of single dad friends that I would ask the questions to, especially when I was going through my divorce. Like, mm -hmm. I'm feeling like I'm having an emotional response, but that might not be the best thing for my kid. So I'm going to ask a couple of my, my close dad friends, and they knew that this was part of what I was doing to help with my, my process was just like, I need to ask what your opinion is. This. I don't care if I like it or not. Mm -hmm. I just need to have a different opinion. I need to open my mind up to someone else's thought process. And I fully appreciate that you went to other dads to ask you about advice with your, your, your son and, and your mindset around it because it's a different perspective. Yeah. Um, and, you know, a lot I'm sorry, I would say that like, oh, yeah, like it seems, oh, but it's true. Oh, oh. Like you may not realize that, that, you know, if you're asking people that are going to tell you what you want to hear or going to tell you the same things that you're telling yourself, that's not going to help you open your mind. I like it. I appreciate it. Although yeah, it is validating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, then that's a different conversation, right? Yeah. If you're looking and needing validation versus needing to be open-minded, like and knowing what you needed when you're asking that question. Absolutely. Absolutely. So explore yourself. Um, expose yourself. Expose yourself. <laughs> Close on, please. Unless it's a nudist event. Okay. Um, but going and checking out new events, having new experiences, being open to other cultures. Summer is a great time for this. And we even have tons and tons and tons of events coming up locally for the springtime. Like all of our little towns have farmers markets, cultural events. We've got the Pride Stoma events, County Tulip Festival, the Tulip Festival is coming up. The uh, the different fairs. Yes. Oh my goodness! I'm so excited. I just got goosebumps. Like I'm excited, and I feel like we're just in a, such a good, healthy place culturally too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know that none of us are happy about war stuff. Or, but culturally, we are healthy. We're washing our hands. We, you know, we know to stay home when we're sick. Like we're in a good spot, right, to get back out and socialize in such a nice, good way. And it'll be and so enjoy exciting. The nature while we're at it. Yeah, so good. So okay. exciting. Um, our quote this week from Fifty Two Small Changes for Your Mind: The quality of your life is in direct proportion to the amount of uncertainty you can comfortably deal with. Tony Robbins. I love that. So we were talking about that. And we that were. quote just like shoop, sums it all up right there, right? Yeah. So um, this week, we want you to go to our website. Are you ready for this? We have been working really, really hard um, on the website. It like, looks so good, you guys. And, and things are working. And hopefully there aren't too many spelling errors. You know, just let me know if you find any. I'm more than happy to fix those. Human error does happen. Right? But if you go to the listen page, you can go and download our podcast. And we are 25 away from hitting a thousand downloads so we're super excited to get that hit that thresh, threshold we will be going live when that happens um oh, so there might be screeching just to warn you in thank advance you. Thank we're pretty excited <laughs> thank you in advance for downloading our podcast and supporting us in that way and then don't forget of course to tune in this week this week's tuesday special will be um uh live on facebook at 9 a.m on tuesday instead yes. of in the evening um because maria tan is our first international, international guest yes. and so this worked out to be a really good time for her and i'm very excited to have her come on i'm really really excited mm -hmm. and then we have two returning guests this week and i'm just elated like our I gotta find some new words so for excited. excited. <laughs> uh, Tracy Oberg is gonna be back with us on Wednesday and on Friday. We have the beautiful 
um, feminine energy specialist, Michelle Brown. And I just love her. And she's given us so many tips on how to move our bodies in ways that is good and healthy for us. I hope you guys are following all of our people that come on the podcast because I know Michelle Brown, she is very good on the um, reels and TikTok. She's always sharing tips on how to like move stuck energy and like help you when you're going into meetings and all Mm -hmm. sorts of great tips she always drops on her social media. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us today. For the Women in Leadership Body, Mind, Soul, and Business podcast, Monday Mindset. Namaste. Namaste.